Hey guys, Sock here from Sock e Tech, and in today's video we have a brand new update for Samsung Galaxy Note 20 and the Note 20 Ultra. What we have is the latest One UI 3.0 beta number three for the Note 20 series. Now remember the S20 series already got their beta number four, but the Note 20 and the Note 20 Ultra are getting their beta number three because the beta was launched a little bit later for the Note series, but it includes all the bug fixes from the S20s as well. It's just the name is a little bit different. It's beta number three. Now, if I go to my settings over here, on the top, again, this is a feature of One UI 3.0. It tells you that there's something pending on the top of the settings screen, which makes sense. It says a software update is now available. You can uh, install that later or you can update it right now. Additionally, let's go down. If you are a beta user to get the update, tap on software update, tap on download and install. And what you're going to see right here is this one. Now, this is a huge update. This is almost one gigabytes worth of an update. So we do know there's going to be a lot of bugs fixed and performance improvements happening. So let's dive in and see what's happening. I'm going to click on update and I'm going to be right back with you guys when this is complete and we're going to go over all the new stuff. All right. So we're in here. Now, if I go to my settings over here, if I go all the way down, I did mention a problem that we have with some of the updates. When you go to software update and look at the last update, you get no information whatsoever. All it says is device stability improvements, bug fixes, new or enhanced features, and of course, further improvements to performance. Now, I will let you know that there are improvements to performance that I can feel is tangible. So when I go back and forth, it actually feels like a normal phone because now we're in the third beta and this was a one gigabyte, almost one gigabyte update. So a lot of bugs were squashed. Now let's look at some of these specifics. So I'm gonna go to my Samsung members application. Okay, let's search for that. And then we have it right here. I'm gonna tap on the notice board on the top. And here we have the third beta software update, November 16th. And if you scroll down, these are all the bugs that have been fixed. One of the biggest things under this is this one right here. One UI home has been updated. So the home area has been updated and that's why it feels much more stable with better per performance. So let's go back inside. The Samsung internet has been updated. That's not a big deal because I never use that. I do use Chrome. And then there was a problem with the biometrics. When you try to unlock the phone with your biometrics, it was given an error. It was failing. Now I did not have that problem, but you may have had it. This update is going to resolve that. And of course, you can pause and read the, the rest of this thing right here. These are just the major bug fixes. There's also many more things fixed. Now, on top of that, the other thing is, like I said, you don't get too much information uh, here, but we do have direct improvements to the actual camera. Okay, some people around the world get more information with their updates and people have let me know that their note shows camera improvements. So the camera is going to be smoother. The focus is going to be better with this update. They're just incrementally bringing this phone to something that can be released as a public product. But that's basically all there is to it. Improved performance, camera improvements, overall stability, and so on and so forth. If you have noticed something new, let me know down below. Just drop a comment. If you have any questions, drop a comment. But for now, guys, have a fantastic day, all right? All right, so if you found this video useful, make sure to subscribe to Saki Tech by clicking that button and also click that bell icon on the side to make sure you get notified every time I upload a new video. And if you do use Twitter, Instagram, or Facebook, you can follow me at Saki Tech online to get the latest updates as well. All right, have a fantastic day.